One of the most popular web tools I'm hearing about right now from teachers is a site called Edmodo. This is basically a social networking site for teachers and students uh, that's mimic, that mimics Facebook. And I'm going to show you how, uh, first of all, you would sign up. Very, very easy right here. You are obviously going to go to where it says, I'm a teacher. And you just click on that and you fill this out and that really is all you have to do as a teacher. I'm going to log in because I've already got an account. And show you what it looks like once you're logged in. Okay, so here it is. And over here you've got um, some ideas, the badges for your students. I have some teachers that are using this. Uh, with standards-based grading so that as a student completes uh, or meets the expectations for a standard, they get a badge. Over here I've got groups and I would suggest using these groups if you teach multiple classes. Um, you see here I've got first hour. Let me go ahead and create a second hour. And if I teach sixth grade and say it's language arts, just hit create. Okay, now take a look right here at this. I've created a group called Second Hour. The code to join the group is QL985C. What that means is whenever the students go to that main page to sign up like you did, instead of hitting I'm a teacher, obviously, they're going to hit I'm a student. And upon their login, and again, they don't need much more information than what you are putting in. Their name and this code is all that they need to sign up for an account. And whenever they do that, they are automatically put into your class. All right, so here's how we do this. Right now, I'm just making a post very similar to how I would do if I were on Facebook. So let's just say, I think, tell me about the character's actions in the book. Do you agree or disagree? Why or why not? Okay, now I am going to, right here it says send to, type the name of the group, student or teacher. Let's say that I don't teach the same thing first hour that I do second hour. So I'm going to type in second hour. Only my second hour people are going to see that. And then just hit send. Okay. So now second hour can go here and reply. And it looks just like on Facebook whenever they leave a comment on someone else's posts. Okay, you can see right here that I have created a quiz. Right here, I have a poll. The way that I created a quiz was just by clicking right here with quiz create a quiz. I can choose what type of question I want. Let me just add that. Um, it really bothers me that this is untitled so I'm going to highlight that and put um, demo question prompt. Would just be whatever my question is and I'm going to go ahead and keep on going with that character the main character traits can be described as okay maybe the main character was non irresponsible so B would be this correct answer and let's say they are kind hearted 
um, I can continue adding responses here if I want to be C. And whenever I am finished with that one, I am just going to go to Add. And see here, there's my first question. Here's my second one. I'm going to make this one a short answer. Explain which character you most relate to and why. Okay. And then I'm just going to preview this. There's three questions giving me an hour to do this, which I can change if I want to. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to end my preview. And I'm going to assign this quiz. There you go. Now my students have a quiz here. I can put the due date in. Uh, they need to have this done by tomorrow. And I want a quiz score in the gradebook. This is not, this gradebook is for the kids to kind of keep track of, but it doesn't necessarily um, sync with any grade books that we have. And then just hit send. I want this to go to second hour. Let's say I want to go to first hour too. There you go. Polls work very much the same way. Should you be allowed to use cell phones at school? Yes or no. Again, I'm going to send this to first hour and second hour. Very easy to set this up. just like this okay now another great thing that it has for teachers is a personal learning network so I'm gonna go over here to where it says browse and I have all these communities that I can join and by being a member of these communities I'm going to be able to connect with other teachers um, and get new ideas so let's just go to the language arts since we were kind of doing the thing with the characters Right here, there's a teacher saying, what are you teaching and um, what, what novels are you teaching? She's wanting some ideas, looking for some assistance. So this is a great, great resource for you as a teacher. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in as a student so you can see what that looks like. Again, remember here, your students are going to go here. That's for that group code that they will put in. They only have to do that once. All right, now this is me in here as a student, and I only belong to this one group here. I can see my assignments. I can look at posts from other other students my polls and quizzes right here I can type something out here like uh, what was your favorite part of the book and I could ask the rest of the people in my class that or what if I ask my teacher that? Okay, here it is. I'm going to log back into my teacher account just so you can see what that would look like. And then there you go. This is what my student just wrote. So I could reply and say that I love the ending because it was not what I expected. And that 
that is really the basics of Edmodo. Very easy to use. You see here how quickly you can add things and um, it's something that kids are very motivated to use. They can turn in assignments electronically here by turning them in with the assignment area. They um, can communicate with each other and they don't have to just communicate within their own class period. It could be with other class periods as well. So this is something that teachers have found uh, to be very uh, motivating for kids and engaging for kids. I hope you enjoy it.